All right, for our last example of optimization, we have four feet of wire that's to be used to form a square in a circle. The question is how much of the wire should be used for the square and how much for the circle in order to get a maximum total area. So we have to think about what we're given. We have four feet of wire and we're trying to find maximum area. So we're trying to maximize our area right here. So in order to maximize the area, we're looking at a square and a circle. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to write it, I'm going to draw a square and a circle. I have to add them together. Well, how do you get the area of a circle, of a square? Well, area of a square is just x squared. For a circle, pi r squared. And so there's my area formula that we want to maximize. But the problem is I can't solve this, so I need something else that I can use. And they tell me that I got the perimeter. That's what this is saying I have, the perimeter. So I'm going to use what I know, and I know the perimeter. P, and I'm going to again add the perimeter of a square plus the perimeter of a circle. Well, what's the perimeter of a square? 4x. What's the perimeter of a circle? 2 pi r. And I know that's going to be equal to 4. 4x four plus 2 pi r. And I'm going to solve for one of the variables. Doesn't matter which one you solve for. Uh, either one you got the square, so yuck. So I'm going to solve for x in this case. x equals, and if I solve it, I get 4 minus 2 pi r over 4. And I can simplify that. Don't have to. And I'm just going to plug that in for my x into my equation. And this gives me my new equation here. So my new area equation becomes all of the squares. That becomes 4 minus 2 pi r squared over 16. Now you might be asking, where did you get the 16? Well, I just squared the bottom. I don't have to put it all in there. Plus pi r squared. This is the equation. See, the goal of optimization is you only want one variable, r and r. And if you look up over here, our new equation, only one variable. Look up over here in our numbers, only one variable, x and x. See, we only want one variable. And now I can solve it by graphing it on the calculator. So I already cleared up my memory. Go to y equals. I just type this in. It's not very pretty. Parentheses, don't forget, 4 minus 2 pi r, we're going to use x, squared divided by 16, don't need a parenthesis for that one, there we go, sorry about that, plus pi r squared. Do my window before I mess it, radius can't be negative, I'm only talking about 4 feet so 10 should be enough, uh, again 4 feet so I don't need, that can't be negative because it's perimeter, and 10, I don't know, that might be big enough, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, hit graph. Up oh, there it is. Now I'm looking for a maximum, okay? Which is interesting because notice what happened. The graph just keeps going up and up and up, like it could be anything, right? Now I obviously have a minimum, okay? And we can find that by finding the minimum. But to find the maximum, what happens here is we have to find a domain restriction, okay? So to find the domain restriction for R, we do this. We just take our function, set it equal to zero. Cross multiply, that just becomes zero equals four minus two pi r. Solve for r, we get, solving for r, we get two over pi. That's the biggest the radius can be, which is kind of interesting now, because now if I go to my window, if I make my x value, which is my r, two over pi, And I graph that. Here it is. Right there. This is my biggest r can be. r could be 0 or it could be 2 over pi. So the problem is, if you notice, where does the maximum occur? At the end point. So the max is at the end point. Which means r is 2 over pi. Okay, at the very end, that's what that means. But if r is 2 over pi, what's that going to make the dimensions for the square? Well, how do we get that 2 over pi? We let x be 0, so 0 feet. 
So basically, in order to maximize the area, to maximize area, there's going to be no square, just all circle in this case. Now, if you want to find the minimum, that's different. The minimum, they'll be right here. Second calc, minimum. 0, 2 over pi, enter. So for minimum, and I'll go ahead and find that for you as well, to get the minimum, x or r is going to be 0.28 feet, where x will be, just plug it in, second quit, 4 minus 2 pi times 0.28, enter, divide that by 4, where x will be 0.56 feet. So in the minimum, we'll have both a circle and a square. But for the maximum, because of the way it looks, there is no maximum value. There's no like a little bump like we normally would expect. It has to be an endpoint. So for the maximum, it's just all circle, no square. All right, that's kind of a tough one there, okay? All right, study these practices. We will have tutorials. Don't forget to show up to them if you still have questions. Thank you.